Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and today I'll be walking you through my new skincare routine. So I'll only be using three products and a soap today. And I chose these products because they are great for acne prone skin, but also because I don't wear makeup and these help me to get a natural glow look without using makeup. So one product that I'll really be going into detail about today is the Pye Rosehip Oil because this is very new to my routine. And I used to use bio oil on my face to give me that glowy look, but I heard great things about rosehip oil. It has great anti-aging ingredients and other ingredients that are great for the skin. So I decided to switch over about two weeks ago. So I'll give you an unboxing of this and also pretty detailed review of this as well as I go through my entire routine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, starting with the unboxing of the rosehip oil, I purchased it from Detox Market. I like that they used recyclable packaging. They included a very cute thank you note and offered carbon neutral delivery. They topped it off with this gift here, which is the multitasking wonder balm. This cleans and moisturizes skin. I will not review this today or use it today, but I will do so in a later video. So this is actually the product that I purchased. This is the rosehip oil. It is very small in size, so it was hard to find in the box and it was buried at the bottom. This is the 10 milliliter bottle and it costs about $29. You can see it has a very easy to use dropper so that you don't use too much when you're applying it because you only need two drops. But to get started with this, we do need to start on clean skin. So I'm going to use my African black soap to clean my face and then we'll get started with applying the products. So now that my face is clean, I want to let it dry a little bit until it is just a little damp. And then I am going to go in with the rosehip oil. So the rosehip oil actually helps to moisturize your face. It has anti-aging properties in it, so it helps to reduce wrinkles. It also helps to reverse sun damage. So very good properties for this product and a little goes a long way. So you can see I'm only applying two drops and the directions say you can apply two to three, but I found when your face is damp, that two goes a long way and it's very easy to smooth it across your face because this oil does not dry too fast. So it is also good to use if you're doing some kind of facial massage because you're able to get that smooth feel as you're doing it and you're not really pulling your skin while you rub it. So this is a very lightweight oil and it does not have a strong smell either. But you can see that I'm getting a glowy look as I'm applying it, but it's not very shiny. So I do really, really love this product. So one other benefit that I forgot to mention is that it does also help to treat acne. So I will be monitoring it, not really to see if it treats acne because I don't really have too much going on on my face right now, but I just want to make sure that it isn't producing or creating any bumps on my face. And then I will continue to use it for about another month just to see how it does with the fine lines on my face. So I purchased this to really target my forehead and my eyes. So we'll see what happens as time goes on. But I do want to show you all first a little before here so that you can see what my forehead and eyes look like right now. You probably can't see too much, but this is just after using it for a week. I think it did soften it a little bit, but I'll continue to use it to see how much it can really do in a month. So next I'm going in with the Burt's Bees Renewal Firming Moisturizing Cream. Definitely a mouthful there. I purchased this at Target for $20. And the reason I picked it up is because it is said to improve skin texture and tone. So it has vitamin E oil to do that and also reduce fine lines and wrinkles. This also mentioned that it is a natural alternative to retinol. So I originally went in looking for retinol and I found this. So I was very happy that it was natural. So a little goes a long way. You can see that I only applied a small amount to my face here, and it is so easy to just smooth it across your face because of how moisturizing and light it is. And last step is to go in with a sunscreen. So this is the Elta MD skincare, and this is the tinted version. So it is great for brown skin because it doesn't leave a chalky look on your face. 
So as you can see, as I'm putting it on, it does have that tinted look to it already. And it is ideal for acne prone skin, which I really, really like. I actually found this when I went to um, get a facial and the esthetician recommended this product because one, she didn't want me to have a chalky look when I'm putting sunscreen on, but also because it has SPF 46. And I was looking for something that is good for acne prone skin. So this also is something that is very moisturizing. She mentioned that if you want it to skip moisturizer, you can just go in with this product instead, but she does recommend using moisturizer and this as well. So as you can see, my skin is looking glowy. I have my sunscreen on and I'm ready to go. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and routine. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.